all children should experience Halloween and the fun of dressing up and kids in the hospital are no different. Maya May joins us live outside Toledo Children's Hospital tonight where children there got a big surprise today. Maya, tell us about it. Well, I saw a few hamburgers and a lot of fairies. These children who are now wearing hospital gowns are also preparing for Halloween. My daughter's name is Kimberly. Uh, she's 12 years old. She was admitted into Toledo Hospital for some stomach pains. We figured maybe she just had like a stomach bug, you know. Um, so we was only expecting to be here a few hours and then get sent home. Turns out that stomach bug was much more serious. Kimberly Egg had two large masses on her ovaries, extending her stay at the hospital. But ProMedica is working to keep Kimberly and other pediatric patients smiling and comfortable. I like scary things. I like snakes and spiders. ProMedica's Child Life Program worked with Spirit Halloween to bring the Halloween store to a couple dozen kids at Toledo's Children's Hospital. It's a gift Kimberly's mom, Anastasia, says her family is grateful for. I didn't know if we were going to be able to afford a Halloween costume this year with bills and um, now being in the hospital and I haven't been working the last few weeks. Outside of this special event, the Child Life Program works to bring joy to kids in other ways, like offering crafts in the hospital rooms. With the kids that can't get out of here and they can't do anything and um, now they have something to do. They have the arts and crafts, they have um, markers and colored pencils and paints and they Kimmy painted um, a little dolphin for me, so like it's it's nice. Kimberly says having a costume this year makes her feel hopeful, and now trick or treating is back on her to-do list. Most kids who are in hospitals aren't able to make it to Halloween, so giving them something makes them feel warm inside. The costumes were paid for with donations made at the Spirit Halloween checkout counters. I'm Maya May reporting live in Toledo for WTOL 11.